All right, let's do a pro forma. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the income statement and that means I'm just gonna go down here to income statement with my wired sheets and I'm gonna move or copy it. Create a copy. There's income statement two. We will call this pro forma income statement. All right, there we go. And that means we're gonna go ahead and do a pro forma for 2015. So 2015 pro forma. Okay, <clears throat> probably don't need to be, be quite that big. Um, all right, so I'm going to start here on total revenues. I don't, you know, if we cared a lot about this other piece, we could, but we can just do it here and then break it out as percent of sales if we want. Um, and so, I mean, in your book, if you're in my class, uh, you know, they like to do trend, so you can put in your known whys. Um, and then no nexus and stuff like that and it'll do a simple regression and try and guess what the revenue is I tend to think that's not the best way to go about doing things because simple regressions are missing pieces uh, especially simple regressions on five data pieces um, are, are not the safest thing in the world so in fact, instead I'm going to go to the Yahoo Finance here uh, Yahoo Finance is a great resource for lots of things uh, rough start to the year by the way <laughs> but I'm just going to go to Yum there are people paid um, money that pay attention to Yum and its industry uh, and know all about fast food. So I'm going to use their estimates instead. Um, so I'm going to go down here to Analyst Estimates. And they will tell me what they think um, revenues are going to be. Um, so current year, December of 15 and then it, when we want to do the 16 pro forma we'll be able to do that as well but 13.19 billion is the estimate so that sounds good 13.190 so there's our estimate and then the rest of it we can do on a percent of sales basis okay uh, and so you know if we want to break this out then company sales uh, rather than franchise fees is a percent of this we can just do equals uh, av or oh sorry do our, our revenue estimate here times uh, average of uh, the percent of sales. And there's several ways to go about doing this. This is just the way I'm going to do it. Um, but I just take this divided by total sales, comma, 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 this divided by total sales of that year. And so you end up with something that looks like this. Now, it's going to estimate that. You're going to see sales are um, slightly lower, and they end up being basically the same as last year at this level because this was higher than that and all these fun things. So uh, it's it's an estimate based on percent of average percent of sales over the last five years for that um, thing. Now, what happens when we drag this down, we're going to keep um, this floating because we're going to want instead of this being the numerator and the next one we're going to want this to be the numerator and instead of this being the numerator etc um, uh, although in this case maybe for this one we just do equals this minus that just to make sure it, it um, these two add up to this since they have to be total revenue uh, for like food and paper when we do percent of sales we're going to want instead of C4, D4, E4 in the numerator C4, D4, E4 we're going to want um, C8, D8, E8. So we're going to let those float when we bring it down. Um, but we do not want C6, D6, E6 to float. We only want them uh, We want them to stay the same. Okay. So when we drag this down, we don't want them uh, to move. So I'm going to go ahead and lock uh, each of these. Oop, FN, F4. FNF4, just F4 if you don't have Windows 8 or later. Uh, one of those newer Windows 8 or later sold um, pieces. Uh, and then I can just copy this. And for anything that should track sales, so as sales go up, they should spend more on food and paper, um, relatively the same. Uh, payroll, maybe not, um, depending, but this is probably food related so it should track pretty closely basically anything that looks like variable costs should track sales uh, occupancy and other operating expenses is probably going to be similar as well but when we get down to like general administrative um, 
so you'll s you might see that it doesn't track as well though here it looks like it might do okay and we can always um, uh, go back to our uh, common size as well and see what percent of revenue so things that stay relatively flat here on percent of revenue might track revenue pretty well um, and or not so kinda depending on how you, how you want to do it uh, but we should be able to just copy this um, and paste it down here um, oh, what did I do? oh I didn't lock B10 uh, also in this one gotta lock B6 so we're always multiplying it by um, this figure that we brought over from the analyst estimate. So let's try that again. Copy, paste, 36, 97. So a little bit higher than this, um, et cetera. So let's say these, since they're restaurant expenses, probably are fairly close to variable costs. Um, uh, some of these don't look like they would. So I'm guessing this. Closures, obviously, are, are going to be variant year to year and not related necessarily to overall sales. Same here, same here. Uh, so these things might not track um, sales and so you wouldn't want to use percent of sales as your method to um, track them. And same thing, interest expense, if we've cut debt or something, so if we go to the balance sheet and see less debt on the books, we're gonna see lower interest expense. It has nothing to do with what our sales level is, um, uh, et cetera. Um, and so maybe that's all we got to worry about for percent of sales. Uh, so for the rest of these, for now, I'm just going to hit equals um, the previous year uh, when I did, you know, when we did um, this sort of thing for um, corporate. What happens is you put in just plug numbers at some point, and then uh, over time, I'm going to drag the formulas over. Sorry. Uh, you get other people to fill in the numbers, so people who are working in the areas that can fill in these numbers. Uh, so if you work in a company, you can um, kind of get what you need. Uh, we don't have that today, so we're just going to put last year in as a plug number, and then uh, uh, if we need, you know, if we were working, we would want to work toward getting the information we wanted to finish this out better later. Um, but anything we think tracks sales, we can just use this percent of sales method. Um, I'm going to continue doing, so this we can bring the formula over, so anything wired we can just bring the formula over. This is just going to plug that for now. Uh, this bring over income tax. Uh, so income tax is one that we can use, uh, not percent of sales, but we can just see percent of income before taxes. Um, so we can do similar things. We can do lat, uh, the projected income before taxes times um, the average uh, inch, uh, do, 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 uh, income expense relative to this, uh, income expense relative to this, etc. So we can we can guess what the tax rate will be saying we'll, we'll probably pay about as much as we normally do in taxes, right? So, um, so it works okay. This is another percent of method, just not of sales. Uh, and this over this. Nope, didn't put the last parenthesis, but that's fine. So 385, that looks like a reasonable estimate uh, relative to what we've seen. Um, 487 on 51. Yeah, that looks, looks close. Um, and so then we can pull this formula over. Net income of non-controlling interests. Yeah, definitely don't know what that's going to be without knowing a lot more. Um, and then uh, pull this over. Now, uh, basic earnings per share, diluted earnings per share, um, and stuff like that. We'd have to go go see what shares outstanding are. Uh, I don't want to do that right now. So we will mess with shares outstanding when we do some valuation stuff later in, in the class. And so. Uh, if you're doing it for my class, we'll talk more about some stuff with earnings per share later. But for now, that's enough for the uh, income statement for a pro forma. So we have a pro forma statement, and we'll do the pro forma balance sheet next time.